there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked, and that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, It is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? But the one who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Subscribe and follow our page or channel if you love this video. Also, do not forget to like the video and share it so that more persons get to see it. Thank you very much. Jesus said, Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. When a room is dark, you use light to find your way. The light helps you to locate your path, your direction, and you don't stumble. But Jesus is saying, Be careful so that what directs your path in life is, is not an evil desire. That's what it means for light to be darkness. Be careful lest what define your choices, what determine your decisions are evil desires. You see, every day you are going to make decisions, you are going to make choices. But what is driving all that? If it is an evil desire, at the end of it, sin is produced, which will, among every other consequence, attract an eternal punishment at the end of your life.